weather though, yes. If you're out and about today, expect mostly sunny skies. We've been fortunate enough, just Colorado's showing off right now in the high country. Beautiful conditions from Steamboat down through Breckenridge, Vale, Aspen. Take a drive over some of our mountain passes. Guanella Pass is beautiful, Independence Pass, always there out near Aspen, and a lot of other drives closer to the Front Range. The Peak to Peak Highway is also a really good one, so if you can, this is a great time of year to be just outside. You can see from Lookout Mountain, we're under a mostly clear sky. Temperatures currently in the upper 40s downtown. It's still very chilly out at the airport, 37 degrees with wind sustained from the east southeast at 13 miles per hour. So early this morning, definitely want a light jacket, a sweatshirt this afternoon, mostly sunny skies, very pleasant conditions. Temperatures in the upper 60s later on it will be windy once again in the high country. So we're going to be looking at the chance for some elevated fire danger, especially in our north central mountains. And then a really strong front is set to move in Wednesday into Thursday. Could bring us the potential for some snow showers here in town and definitely looking at our first freeze of the season for the metro. I'll show you that coming up in just a bit, but hopefully you can get outside and enjoy fall while it lasts here this weekend. Outside currently we're in the 20s through Steamboat, cold up into Craig at 20 degrees, upper 20s in Aspen with 30s and 40s over the majority of the plains. So if you are taking a trip through the Rocky Mountains, highs will be in the 50s to low 60s, breezy at times, especially through the late afternoon. Satellite and radar showing not too much going on across the state, but a couple of watches and warnings I want to tell you about. A frost advisory in place both this morning and early tomorrow, even into Monday, as temperatures hover near freezing from Ray out through Burlington. Sensitive vegetation will want to be protected if that's still outside. And this fire weather warning in place until at least 8 o'clock tonight. This includes our Front Range Mountains and mainly east of the divide, but still could be seeing very low relative humidity. Wind gusts up to even 40 miles per hour. Unfortunately, will not help the conditions here down where the Decker fire continues to burn south of Salida. An air quality warning in place once again through this morning for portions of Chafee and Fremont counties. Wind speeds right now pretty strong over the eastern plains. 20 mile per hour winds, Sterling, Akron, Burlington also breezy, same out across the airport. But in terms of our conditions throughout the metro, temperatures really cool right now in the low 40s Littleton and Highlands Ranch, but it'll be pretty pleasant as we go throughout the rest of this morning. 11 o'clock, 56 degrees, 65 by 3, mid to upper 60s for our daytime highs across the majority of the metro area. So Broomfield, Thornton at 66, 68 through Littleton and out through Aurora Centennial and the airport, all looking at upper 60s with wind staying relatively calm here in town throughout the afternoon, but very breezy across eastern Colorado and into the high country where 40s and 50s are expected through about 6 o'clock tonight. Skies will stay clear in the overnight hours. Temperatures chilly once again early tomorrow morning, but pretty normal for this time of the year. And then as we take you through the seven day forecast again tomorrow, expect highs in the mid 60s under a mostly sunny sky. It'll warm up a bit and then cool down a lot. So Monday 73, our next front will start to move in Tuesday, but ahead of that it's going to be windy and warm and a high back near 80 degrees and some big changes in store by Wednesday night and through early Thursday. We're looking at lows dropping down to below freezing highs only in the 40s with a good chance of seeing some showers come early Thursday morning. We'll keep you posted on how this looks. We want to get ahead of this one and let you know, hey, maybe bust out the winter jacket, some uh, warmer clothes, especially through the middle and end of this coming week.